Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today my topic for this video is the exception handling. So exception basically the error in the pythons and if you want to categorize the error in the python then error have the two categories. We can divide the error into the two categories. First one is the syntax error. Suppose we write the code into the pythons and we write the code and we, we somehow we miss like the any bracket any colon anything as for the syntax we miss the things like this is the user mistakes like the developer mistakes like the syntax is not as per the uh, language so those error we call the syntax error if we run those codes without proper syntax then the error is occurs those is error we call the syntax error so one is the exception first one is the syntax next one is the exception so exception occurs when our syntax is correct syntax is as per the language as per the best practices but the flow is changed like the code flow is changed like the some some change in the input values or some change on the on the like the input format or the flow is changed then those cases like the exception is occurred like the user provide the wrong inputs and the input is out of the scope or the input is not valid so in that case exception is occurred and we can handle the exception in multiple ways. I will show you later in the course how we can handle those exceptions. And if we handle those exceptions, then our code execution is not terminated. Like in case of syntax error, our code execution is terminated. And in the syntax error case, our application going down, our page is crash. But in case of exception, if exception is occurs and we are handle the exception in Python, then though our application is not crashed our uh, execution is continued exception is occurred exception is locked into the loops and then the next workflow is run so this is the exception and let me first show you the syntax error and the exception basic sample so here are the code in this code i am going to discuss the syntax error so here i am using a print statement to print a string here and you can see here I intensely remove the like the bracket from here. You can see here, here are the syntax error. And if I run this code, you can see here, it's written the uh, syntax error. You can see here, it's mentioned syntax error. And then the pointer is mentioned unexpected end of the file while parsing. You can see here, there is the error related to the end of file. So this syntax problem. So this is the uh, toy example of syntax error. And let me move to the exception. So here I'm using the two variable. One variable has the value, like the X is first variable and value for X is the one. And for the B is the zero. And now I'm trying to divide one by zero, X by B. So here basically I'm trying, uh, trying to divide one by zero. And you can see here, if I run this code, it's run the, it return the exception. It generate the exception, zero division error. This is the class of this exception, mm -hmm. zero division error. And you can see here, here also mentioned division by zero. So we need to handle this. We need to take care of this. Like we can't divide any integer by zero. This is the one example. Another example, if I try to concatenate string with integer, you can see here, first element is string here. You can see here, first, uh, first object is string, second one is integer. If I to concatenate those with plus operator, you can see here it's returning the type error because type of the both object is different. One is the string, another one is the integer, and I'm trying to concatenate both the things with plus operator. So you can see here type error can only concatenate str. This means that we can concatenate two strings only. We can't con concatenate one string with the integer. So you can see here this is the another example. And if I move to next one, next one, you can see here, I'm printing a object. You can see here, a, I'm trying to print the test, but I'm not defining this test variable first. So it's written the exception name error because name is not defined. And you can see here, same, same thing mentioned here, name test is not defined. So first we need to define this, then we can use this one. So these are the quick examples, like the two examples for the exceptions you can see here, the zero division errors, type errors, name error. These are the uh, type of different exceptions. And further, we need to handle these things so that our application is run in smooth ways in case of any exceptions, any errors. 
those exceptions we can handle on the runtime and our application is not crash in those situations and it runs smoothly. So exception handling is so important into the Python to ensure like our program is not crash, our application is not crash. In case of any exception, any error, we can handle it on the runtime. And let me move to the try and accept block. So to handle uh, this exception, we require the try and accept two statements. In case of try block, we need to add all the codes, all the logic, all the function classes we need to define under the try block. And in case of any exception is occurs, any error is occurs, then we have the accept block. Accept in the accept, we we need to define the class of those exception which we want to handle. And then accept block handle those exception, and we can also add the logger or print statement in the accept accept block. And then the code of the flow is not terminated if we handle the exception. Let me discuss the how we handle the exception in the real time. So first, like the try close, I mean we have the try block, try close, and all the statements we need to define under the try blocks. So first, try block is executed. All the statement, all the code under the try block is executed. And in case no error, no exception, so accept block is key in the like the positive case like in case no error no exception then except block is not executed is skip and try statement is finished and all things is smooth and in second case suppose exception occurred in the try block like uh, first in this case also like the first try block is executed all the code under the try section is executed in case any exception then control is moved to the except block then the code under the except block is executed and if we handle the uh, exception under the accept block like the our exception on the run times and exception defined in the accept block is match like the class is match then all the code is smoothly run after the exception block like other code is executed code is not terminated and if a situation occurs like our exception is not handled in our accept block then in those situation after the exception block our code is stopped, execution is stopped, and it raised the exception and it's raised the unhandled exception and our execution is stopped. And further, we can use the final block also, like final block is new block here, I mentioned final block and final block execute every time, even in case of normal, normal workflow, like no exception, then also final is executed in case of any exception then also finally executed final is executed every time and then we have the else block also else block execute only when when we have the no error like we uh, like first is try block is executed all the items in the try section is executed if no error has occurred no exception is occurred then else statement is executed otherwise else block is skip if we have the any exception then con then next control is moved to the except section but the else section is skip in those situation. So here are the nice diagram to compare these flows also, which I explain here, these scenarios. In case of normal flow, we have no exception here. In case of exception, like we have the exception, but we have the proper exception handler here. We have the proper class in the except flow to handle those exceptions. Those are the uh, second scenario. In third scenario, we don't have the class to handle the exception like new exception so there are the th three scenarios and let me explain these three scenarios the first one is the normal flow so in case of normal flow first code under this try section is executed then after this execution no error is occurs no exception is occurred then control is moved to the else section here is the else section then code under this else section is executed and after the else section then code is moved to the like the flow is moved to the final block then final statement is executed like the code under the final section is executed and after that our execution is continued you can see here like the our execution is continued moving further like the next statement is executed all things is green in this flow and in second example suppose the exception is occurs but we have the upper class defined in the except so first first uh, statement under the try uh, try section this section is executed all the code mentioned in the try section is executed then in case of exception 
control is moved to the accept block here then this uh, this code is executed basically we are using the exception here class of exception to handle the exception and if we have the proper class here to handle this exception which occurred in the try block then then we handle the exception properly and then control is moved to the final block after the handling of those exception final block code is executed you can see here final block code is ex executed and then our execution is continue similar to previous our code execution is continue and then move to the next sections and you see one difference here in this section our else section is executed code under the else, else section is executed but here we skip the else so in case of exception else is skip as shown here like the we we face the exception in the try block then the accept block is executed else is skip in this situation and let me move to the third situation in third situation we have the exception in the in the try statements in the course we found the exception but we don't have the proper class to handle those exception in the accept section we don't have the proper class suppose we use the any like the name error exception here we mentioned the name error here and we face the exception related to the arithmetic errors then in, the, in that case we can't handle the exception here i will come to the exception class later in the uh, in the in this particular video in next section i have mentioned the exception class but here you can assume like we have the one exception class here but the exception which generated from the code from in the try section is different from this exception class so this is not handled here so in that case this code is not executed because we are not handling this exception here because our class is different else section also skip you can see here else section also skip here and accept code is also not executed because exception is not handling here. Then finally, code is executed. Then the finally section code is executed. You can see here, control is moved from the try to, you can see here it's try, then control directly moved to the final, finally here. And then the finally code is executed. And after that, it return the exception and it terminate the execution also. So you can see here in first situation, all things screen execution is continue. In second situation, if we handle the exception, execution is continue. But in third case, if we don't handle the exception in this third case, then the execution is terminated. So that's the like the scenarios in the exceptions. This is the like the first scenario, normal flows without any exception. Then we have the second scenario. In this case, we have the exception, but we have the proper handler. But here we have the exception without any handlers, without proper handler. So this is the uh, flow of the exceptions, how the flow is moved from the try block to accept block, then the else block, then the final block. Further, I, I show you in the course how these things is work in the course. So first you can see here, like I, I define the try section here, try colon, then we have the code under the try, like all the statement we need to mention here, all the logic. So here I am trying to concatenate one string this is the string you can see here this is the string with int 10 is the simple integer and this is the string because i am passing this into the single quotes so that's why it's string and if i try to this this raise the exception type error and this is the similar to above one above one yeah this one here also i'm trying to concatenate the string with int so this is the similar exception type error and here you can see here here it's written the overall stack or uh, the errors but here i'm handling this exception so here i'm using the accept you can see here this is the accept block first ex accept block then we have the name error and so a uh, name error exception this code is executed and uh, those uh, exception handle here and then the state this this print statement is executed in case of name error but in case of type error this statement is executed oops please check the type of the variable try again and in this particular case, we are expecting the type error exception because we are concatenating the string with int. So you can see here, it's written that this code is mentioned the oops. It's print the oops. Please check type of the variable. Try again. So you can see here, this code is executed. Type error code. So this way we can handle the exception. And if you can see, compare this 
this print statement this is the nice print statement we basically uh, use this print statement and if we compare this with the uh, row error you can see here the row error let me show you yeah this one the row error type errors and you can see here type error can only contain the string not in and here basically in the exception handling one thing is we are handling this exception we, uh, so to uh, to avoid the termination of the course like the code execution is continue one one advantage of exception handling here like we are continue our executions like our application is not down uh, like our code execution is continue is no terminate here and second advantage is like we are at the readability with nice message like oh please check the type of the variables so user can go back and check the type of the variables like we are trying to add the string concatenate the string with the ints so you can see here there is a two things we achieve with the exception handle and let me move to the next example so here again i'm using the try so you can see here this is the try section this one is the try section and here also i'm using the two uh, two class of the exceptions name errors and type errors and here i'm trying to divide integer with zero so in this situation if we compare this situation with our previous situation so this is the same situation here and in this case we see the exception related to zero division error and here i'm handling this with different classes you can see here here we mentioned the name errors type errors and if you see like the, here is the zero division error is missing and we have the, like the multiple ways to handle this like one of the like the to handle particular class and then the parent class also in case of a zero division error parent class of the exception is the arithmetic error but here is no arithmetic error and no exception class here is we here we are using name errors we are handling the name error exception type error exception then in this situation you can see here this exception is occurs zero division error and it's written the proper stack here because we are not handling here this is the situation of third situation as i show in the diagrams like the flow is uh, is terminated execution flow is terminated and it's written the exception because we are not handling those exception here and let me move to the classes of exception this one is the nice diagram so you can see here we know everything in the python is object and further in the python we have inbuilt base exception class which inherit from the object class and after the base class base exception class we have the exception class and this class is inherit the base class you can see here base exception class we are inheriting here and base exception class inherit the object class so this way like the exception inbuilt exception in the python is what these guys are defining further we have the subcategories of the exception so this is the like we have the one class for to handle the exception related to the arithmetic errors those are the arithmetic error exception error related to the environment those are the environment error exception class and of the files errors eof errors a class for lookup error we have the lookup error class for the value error we have the value error class to handle these kind of errors and further we have the subcategories also to handle the specific error related to the input output io errors to handle the specific related to the os os error to handle the index errors under the lookup category we have the index error and also the key error under the lookup category same way in case of arithmetic we can use the zero divisions as i show you in the runtimes zero division errors so those those under the arithmetic category so so as you can see here these are the two uh, two classes like the object is the two default class uh, default object class in the pythons then we have the base exception then we have the exception class and if we are not aware about the like what kind of exce exception is occurs on the run times then we can use the exception class directly any kind of exception we can handle with this class exception and if we are specific like we need we know like there is the input output error is occurs exception related to input output error is occurs then we can use the specific child exception errors like the input errors 
in case of os error we can use the os error directly in case of index error possibility we can use the index error in case of keyword error possibility key error possibility we can use the key errors and if we have the possibility of two errors like the index error also key error also we are not aware about like which are the possible errors but there is a possibility like either the index error is possible during execution of particular program or key errors then we can use the like their parent level also like we can use the lookup error similar to this and similarly we can use the arithmetic errors also environment error also end of error end of file error also value error also so this is depend upon the requirement depend upon our programs but this order is very important course if we use multiple exceptions uh, classes in our course to handle the exceptions if we define exception in very first block of aspect so then in our program then further exception is not going to check if we use multiple exception like first we define the exception class then we use the value class in next except block then we use the key errors in third block but in those case like uh, our program is not checking further in case of exception it handle all the exception here and it return the common message either in case of key errors in case of value errors in case of key errors in case of value error every time this code is executed exception class is executed because it handle all the exception so that's why the order is very important in case of exceptions so first we we need to define in the orders like first we need to use the child classes like we can define the key error key errors index error in the first except loads os errors ios error similarly in case of automatic errors like we can mention the zero division errors on the very first except block then we can use the parents like the value errors lookup errors eo errors environment errors automatic errors and in the end we can use the exception to handle any kind of exceptions any new exception so that's why like order is very important move from below to top this is the order how we can use like first use these child level then on the parent level then on the top level this is the order and this one is very important i will show you in the code also so let me move to the coding part so here i'm again using the try and the try we have the code statement you can see here and again i'm trying to uh, to generate exception related to zero division because i'm dividing the integer with zero and here i intensely use first name errors you can see here this is the name error name error class i'm using here except there is the name error exception and then i have the print statement under this section and in case of name error exception then this code is executed and then i have the type error and then the code under the type error then i have the exception you can see here this is the exception so in this particular case here if i compare this with the previous case in this case zero division error is occurs zero division error is occurred then this code is skip this code is skip because this exception is not handled by name error type error but here exception is handled this error then this code is executed but i have the another class like that this zero division error is belong to the arithmetic categories but you can see here i define the arithmetic category after the exception so this code is not going to execute because above exception is handled here and in the end i have the zero division error so this is the real category related to this error but this code is not executed because our exception is handled by our parent class exception and let me run this code you can see here the statement under this category is executed oops something wrong please check your input and this is the same statement something wrong please check your input so this is the issue of the orders like we need to define uh, accurately like first we need to define the child then parent then top level exception and let me show you the correct order in this particular situation so this one is the correct order here i am again use a code to divide integer by zero for the zero division exception and here i am first define the zero division exception in the except block then i define the arithmetic error you can see here arithmetic error exception in the except block then i use the exception so you can see here this is the correct order this is the child then parent then the top level 
and if i run this code you can see here the code under the zero division is executed this code is accept zero division this code is ex executed we handle the exception here now this code is not executed like the automatic errors because we handle the exception very fast and if i comment this you can see here if i comment this let me comment this and i run this then you can see here now this code is executed because we are handling an exception here arithmetic error now we are using the parent exception to handle the errors this error is belong to the arithmetic category so that's why it's handling it and suppose i comment this one also now you can see here now our final like, exception block is executed so that's why like the order is very important in case of exception handling like the defining order is very important and let me move to further final blocks and the else block so in case of exception then we know like the this else block is not executed as shown here it's like we have the this code is related to the exception section and this code is related to the final you can see here final code also executed final section code also executed but in case of no exception then this else statement is executed and i have changed this code to run smoothly without any exception and now you can see here this this section is is executed code under this section is executed this code will execute it if no exception exception so you can see here this particular code is executed if and no exception is occurs in the driver further i move to the raising exception part so basically in case of any requirement any custom requirement we can raise the exception on any point suppose we have the requirement to raise a exception and then we have the further logic base of the ex as particular exception then we can raise the exception also and this is the code like we can use the raise keyword raise keyword then the class of the uh, exception and then we can also provide a custom message to print this exception so you can see here this exception is raised you can see here name error welcome to python tutorial so this way we can raise the exception also and let me use same raise exception in the try block also so here i'm raising the exception and here in the section i'm handle those exception so you can see here this way it's work. it's handling the exception correctly and further i move to the user define exception so till this point i discussed the inbuilt uh, exception in the pythons but as per the requirement we can create our custom we can define our custom ex exception also and these are the syntax like the we need to define any class we know we require the class keyword so here also we need to define a custom class for the exception so here uh, so i am defining here the class keyword then this is the name of the exception here i'm using the custom exception and here i'm inherit the parent class and here i'm inherit the exception class and then i'm passing the pass statement so here you can see here this is the exception i create here by inherit the exception class and further i can inherit any class here i'm inherit this exception class but in case any requirement i can inherit the arithmetic errors environment errors euf errors lookup error value errors ios error any class os error index error key error any class i can inherit while creating the this custom exception and let me execute the try try and accept flow to raise this exception so here i'm raising this exception custom ex exception so i'm raising this exception here with the rice keyword and then i'm handling those custom exception you can see here in the accept block i mentioned the custom exception and then i'm printing those statement custom exception occurs and then i have the final block in the final block i have a print statement thank you and if and if i run this code you can see here it's print the this custom exception message and the thank you so basically first this exception is raised here in the try statement then this exception is handled here and then the final code is executed this way so that's all about the exceptions so in this particular video i discussed the inbuilt exceptions 
how we can use those exception, how we can handle those exception with try blobs and with accept blobs. And then I discussed thoroughly about the different categories, different classes of exception, like the arithmetic exception, lookup, environment, value, these kind of exceptions, and then the child category also. And then I explained the order of the exception, why we need to take care of the order of the ex exception, why defining the exception in our code. And if you want to use these codes, you want to try the exception on your end, you can directly access these codes from the description of the video. I will put the link of this collab in the description of the video. And thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe my channel and thank you.